Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be going over Dragon Blaze little patch. It's just going to be a pretty short video. Um, pretty short, because there are a few things that are coming that I'm going to have to wait for. So, first things first, they still have done this a second time this year. <laughs> they have not put in the patch notes inside of the actual game. So I have to go into the forum because I know they update like every single week. Like they have not gone a single week without doing an update. And, or like little bug changes or things like that. So I'm just sitting here like oh, maybe I should go in the forum and boom. Here it is. It's in the forums instead of the actual game. If you guys want proof of that I'll just start up Dragon Blaze right now. It's funny I got all these characters to level 138. But now I have to ultimate them all. <laughs> well, ultimate most of them, not, not all of them. At least that's my idea. What was I going? Okay, wait, wrong way. Wrong way. Yeah, as you can see, it's not up here. They recently put up. Wait, I don't remember seeing this. Okay, so the other patch notes are gone. The one for one, for um, this twenty second. So they replaced it and, or took it off. But yeah. Uh, first things first, changes that are coming will be to Daily Dungeon. Daily Dungeon rewards will be changed. Instead, it will be increased from 12 double S allies if you're going to go normal Overlord to 20. If you're going to go Myth, it's going to be changed from 3 to 9. Okay, so this is actually going to be worth doing if you guys are in need of souls. So, now it's just more worth it to buy into Monday's Dungeon now for allies. Especially if you can do this one. Which everybody should be able to do. Alright, as for Thursdays. Thursdays is Transcended Essence and Transcended Essence will change... Oh, normal Transcended Essence will change from 20 to 60 and myths will change from 60 to 180 okay that's actually pretty nice I actually like that that's actually not half bad but now the big change is the tower 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 of validation balance adjustment reduce tower monsters HP by 50% for the love of God yes please Thank you. I'm not sure how much that's going to change though, but considering our rewards in tower aren't really all that significant and aren't all that good, this is probably going to be a really good change for sure. Hopefully they die easier. Because like I said, tower validation is like in-game material most of the time for us, but I'm wondering how much this is going to change it by. So that's why I'm going to wait off on tower and see what happens once they're done with this. So I was gonna do a tower video today, but now that I see this change, I'm gonna wait it off. Because if you guys don't know, tower is actually pretty damn strong. So yeah. All right, so we got new rewards, new login time rewards. So instead of receiving five, 5 million gold, we're gonna receive 10 million gold. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, 10 million. I, I thought I, I read it as 10 million next, but nope, never mind. Okay, instead of 3 Transcended Essence, we're gonna get 30 Transcended Essence at 30 minutes. My bad. My tongue is like all over the place. At 40 minutes, we're gonna get 2 Double S Allies. Which kind of sucks that it's not like triple S allies, but you know, hey, hey, it's still something. So these will remain the same. Alright, so here's our new pretty much lock-ins rewards we're going to get. As for time rewards. So, okay, all the rewards are going to be changed. So instead of getting five transcendent since we're going to get... 10 transit essence at this time which I, I don't 
know what these times are in Eastern and honestly don't feel like looking them up. But all you need to know is Dragon Blaze is Pacific time and you guys can convert it from there. As for this time is going to be converted from... Wait, what? Then why is that still there? Okay, I think I may have confused myself, or am, am I getting confused? Okay, this, said, this is supposed to change to... Okay, there's the gold. But I guess this remains... Okay, I guess there's different times or something. I, I don't know. I never ever look at this. I'm mostly only looking at this, if anything. And these events are ending. Metas is going to be ending today, and the gold pig drop. Ah, so if you haven't gotten your accessories, that's pretty much done. And plus the 30% off discount off of cards. Which I don't think mostly anybody buys just because uh, they're saving up all their rubies for um, Infinity. Which they need to start handing these out more as rewards right now. Just because a lot of us aren't going to be buying them just because we're smart. Most of us are smart enough to save them. For when Infinity comes out, because Infinity is going to be mostly what our rubies are going to be used on. So, saving rubies versus that is going to be like pretty standard. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of the changes that are coming, which is pretty nice. If you guys are wondering why there's no Dragon Blaze music, it's because Dragon Blaze has some copyrighted music within their grasp. So, that's kind of an issue. So, yeah, we're going to have to look for new songs or music. If anybody makes music and want to, you know, make me a decent background song, then let me know. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's all, to be honest. We don't even, I don't even think they talked about, like, a new, like, login event or anything, because this was still going on. I already got all the stuff for it. Uh, right now, I am working on Violet, just because... Violet is probably the more of a character that you want to max first. And I, you guys always ask me which which uh, exalted you should level first. It's highly recommended to do a DPS to ultimate first. So Violet, first crown, or I guess you could put Helsing in there. But that's only if you PvP. If you're going a PvP route, then Helsing is probably the best for for like physical PvP. Uh, there aren't many like actual magic PvP units right now, but they'll probably come in the future. So basically, DPSs are probably the first thing you want to rush. Then you want to rush uh, Blaze Eater. Just because that's going to be your main healer for a while. Or your best healer for a while. The reason I say this is because physical. Physical team, great DPS. Magic team, great DPS. PvP, great DPS. And if you're just looking for an asshole that will just cont crowd control the rest of the team for PvP, here you go. I started on him, but then I stopped a little bit. But yeah, now those are the main ones you want to get done. If you're going for a magic team, maxing out Blizz, First Crown, and Murder over here are the perfect units for PvE. Pv PvP, on the other hand, is probably it's probably going to be Helsing, this guy, and Jin for a while until the next characters come. Um, L, eh, you can pretty much max her at any time because she's a really good buffer and debuffer, actually. So, yeah, those are a few of my opinions on it. Uh, if any other pro players have any other opinions, feel free to put them down in the comments to help everybody else out, you know? But with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. That's pretty much all I wanted to show. So, until then, peace out. It's gonna get better real soon.
let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?